My name is Jonathan Parks, and welcome to Jonathan's Nature Craft. I must inform you that I do not live in this house by myself, but live here with other people. Sometimes other members of the household may have to walk through areas where I might be recording with other family members on the phone. If you hear any noise like that, please feel free to disregard. We are doing our best to get noise-canceling equipment, which may at least keep you from hearing exactly what is being said. Thank you for considering. Well, I'll tell you all that there's little things I come to show you all now, and little work has also just come along with what we've done and just a little time when as you see the face is dried out now probably going to spend another few minutes trying to paint a little bit of other parts on this german shepherd's fur and as for how the color goes along with the wood i tell y'all that Probably not a lot of people that really carve stuff out of wood all that much, but work just comes along, makes its way, so we're going to kind of turn this down a little bit, show you all a little what I do here, and kind of make it so this little ear is going to show up and make a little way down here and what we see and what we know and do I tell y'all that this is just kind of the way that little dogs kind of show their colors for who and what they are and making little ways down in our lives just to soothe and comfort us I heard dogs you know they be good therapy animals but you know whenever it comes to dogs like this you know Makes me think of that little cartoon my niece likes to watch. It's called Paw Patrol. I mean, I tell you, you know, I'm not much of a TV watcher and don't really spend a lot of time with her. So, don't really get in front of the TV a whole lot. So, that's kind of just, you know, a little words as to how the way is that that has to go. But when we all come down to what we do and say and mean, it's like... I say that this little pup is just one that kind of makes you think back on all those things, you know, how that that Paw Patrol thing is just about like these little dogs and what they do and how they're like little dogs for the police and things like that. And I mean, sometimes little niece, I tell you, she can kind of say some really funny strange things when she's playing with her little toys and sometimes just sometimes you know you're going to hear a little thing or here there that kid might say or do and it'll just come up to you as one thing that and all that often been able to hear said and when it comes down to what we all have, I say that this little dog, we're going to try to paint on one side here. We already got the backs of the head and the ears, but there's little things we kind of got to do just to make it so it's going to kind of shine the rest of the way and then just kind of come along where it's here along the side where this other line is just paint along that little mark there and see how you can almost make things look so realistic for what they are and what they're supposed to be i say you know shepherds are just those kinds of dogs where you know, there's a lot to learn from them. I could also tell y'all a little story from when I was a kid about how the neighbors had this dog that was 
part German Shepherd and part Collie. And it was, you know, not a very nice or friendly dog. I can remember one time I was playing in the yard when that dog got in the yard and I got a little scared because it was in the yard and started to kind of run and scream because I heard it wasn't a very friendly dog. It was a very mean dog. The type of dog about whom you all were warned that it would just chew people up. So we kind of had to be a little cautious with what we do. Even have the mother and the family tell the little girl that she couldn't really be opening the door because the dog would come out and so I say that this is just one of those things where one time that dog got on the loose and mom took my sister and brother and me all together in the car and as we were all like in that car together you know she was going around the neighborhood just warning people about a little dog that was part shepherd and part collie that was on the loose and how mean it was and how you had to watch out for it with your kids and all this stuff and how it was just kind of one that it was often warned about suggested you watch out for and all this other stuff you see and hear and strange little things have happened these days where sometimes just the little dogs kind of wandered and strayed I say and oh the kinds of dogs I used to think I could have as a kid and keep in our woods in the backyard mom always said no you can't have them outside unless you got fences because they didn't want them roaming the neighborhood and stuff so being on people's property so you kind of had to keep them restrained and ordered and keep them safe and so that was how they kind of did and you know it's kind of like how you know you couldn't really keep things chained up or on a leash they wouldn't like it there and they get mean and I say for all the little pups I say that this is just kind of one little work I've had in my hands to do where we got little pups taken care and just oh the work that goes about this oh the little cubby people and with these videos coming out about 10 minutes long that kind of makes them suffice for a painting video and we're gonna kind of put this doggy aside kind of get a little extra work done right into him make him so he's going to be a little strong pooch patrol like this little pup I had as a kid where it was called a it was kind of like a little stuffed dog that with its upper lip you could flip its upper lip up and it would show its teeth and it was called a pooch patrol interesting little concept because as kids there were the toys called the pooch patrols and then now nowadays there's a cartoon called the Paw patrol and you know my little niece I tell you she sometimes she likes to pretend to be Everest and sometimes she likes to pretend to be Sky those are kind of like the two girl dogs that are on the show so you know and she was even given Paw Patrol names to all the people in the family and even to me and didn't know really who that was or what that was but came through the door and she said the name of that Paul Patrol character nice followed by that's who I hear coming through the door so I say I say that <laughs> it's just kind of an adventure just what you learn as you go through life and with little things like this I'm probably not one of the best painters I'm probably better at doing carbon and three-dimensional but I'd say it all just comes down to the fact that just little paint on a creature kind of does it a little good, does it a little work, and 
makes it a little sensible and that's kind of how I do I kind of add a little paint to my 3d stuff kind of like as a kid when I took little recreational pottery classes you know we kind of painted the things we made out of clay and glazed the things that were more functional and I just also like to say that there's going to be a little bit more to show in the next video we're going to paint the other side of the dog the same way and that's what I kind of came on here just to mention I do see that a few more people have followed the page I'm grateful for that thank you all for watching and please always 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 stay in touch thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the video and if you haven't already please subscribe to this channel. I hope to see you in the next video. Stay tuned.